space has truly earned its moniker as the final frontier, stretching in all directions with rules of gravity and physics that do not apply on Earth. The possibilities for what might lie beyond our comprehension are endless. Some things that occur are so strange that it seems that the only explanation is one that involves aliens and other life forms. But most are none other than marvels of science that have never been seen on our small planet. Salyut 7 Angels In July of 1984, cosmonauts on the Soviet space station Salyut 7 reported seeing a strange orange light. The space station was suddenly surrounded by the light, and it even came through the walls of the station. The light was so bright, the crew temporarily went blind. Once they regained their vision, they looked through the portholes for the source of the orange light. They thought there may have been an explosion somewhere since the Salyut 7 had experienced fires and other types of emergencies already, but they found nothing of the sort. Instead, the cosmonauts claimed to have seen seven angels floating around right outside the station. They said the angels looked similar to humans, but with wings and halos. The angels stayed close to the space station for another ten minutes, then they disappeared. Twelve days later, a team from the Soyuz T-12 spacecraft joined the Salyut 7 crew. Just a short time later, they saw the same orange light. The light surrounded the space station, and they saw the angels outside again. This time, the crew said that the angels were as big as an airliner. The Soviet Union decided that this discovery should remain top secret, and they ordered the crew not to tell anyone what they saw. Some tried to dismiss these claims by saying that the crew were hallucinating. After all, they had been in the space station for 155 days when they first saw the angels, so they were stressed and probably exhausted. Some believe hallucinations could have also been caused by a lack of oxygen and pressure fluctuations. But how could they all have the same hallucinations? This also doesn't explain how the second crew saw the angels since they hadn't been there long. It has also been suggested that similar sightings have been secretly reported by many other Russian cosmonauts as well. Michio Kaku predicts alien contact Michio Kaku has gained a reputation as a renowned physicist and futurist, having written numerous books on scientific topics, gained popularity as a presenter and achieved recognition as the co-founder of string field theory, he is well regarded as an authority in the field of science. Michio made headlines when he claimed that humans would encounter alien life forms within this century. Michio stated, I think we will pick up a signal from an intelligent civilization in outer space in this century. However, that doesn't mean we'll have a two-way conversation. They could be many hundreds of light years away, so it would take hundreds of years for a conversation to take place. But when that takes place, when we do eavesdrop on an intelligent civilization in outer space, that could be a turning point in the history of civilization on Earth. He claims that life throughout the Milky Way is inevitable, adding that when we look out into the night sky, we must realize that someone could be looking back, also wondering if other life forms may exist in our solar system. Michio also claims that we won't just find any signs of life but also intelligent life. Our galaxy is potentially packed with billions of Earth-like planets that could host a variety of different life forms. Although the actual number of exoplanets far exceeds the 4,000 that have already been recorded and verified, the number of Earth-like planets in our galaxy is estimated to be around 6 billion. Michio explains that when we do encounter life on other planets, we would first need to determine what category of species they are, breaking them down into three types. Type 1, Type 2, and Type 3 civilizations. A Type 1 civilization would be roughly 100 years more advanced than our current state on Earth. A Type 2 civilization would be stellar and would be a few thousand years ahead of us. A Type 3 civilization would be over a hundred thousand years more advanced, be able to control black holes and roam space at will. Kaku highlights the dangers we face when encountering other life forms, as we are Type 0. After intercepting otherworldly messages, he claims we would need to identify the type of civilization they are 
and the threat they pose. Though Michio thinks that for the most part they will leave us be, as there's no need to plunder our planet for resources, but they will no doubt be curious. The Great Attractor On planet Earth, gravitational force is inevitable as everything that goes up comes down eventually. The Great Attractor, just as the name suggests, attracts galaxies to itself just like the way a magnet does to metal. It operates as a gravitational anomaly. The Great Attractor is a gravitational abnormality in intergalactic space and the apparent central gravitational point of the Lana Kea supercluster. When observed, the Great Attractor is difficult to be envisioned, as it is inconveniently obscured by large clusters of galaxies in our Milky Way's galactic plane. A lot of astronomers have been curious if planet Earth is safe with the discovery of the existence of the Great Attractor by NASA. The Great Attractor was explored and discovered by NASA to have been located on the border of Triangulum, Austral and Norma. This field covers part of the Norma Cluster as well as a dense area of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. The Norma Cluster is the closest massive galaxy cluster to the Milky Way and lies about 220 million light-years away. The Great Attractor was recorded by astronomers to be an enormous concentration of masses and occupies a region of space which dominates our region of the universe. One of the distinguished characteristics of the Great Attractor also is that the gravitational abnormality is observable by its effects on the motion of galaxies and their associated clusters over a region of hundreds of millions of light-years across, its visibility inconvenient to observe at optical wavelengths. A whole range of tactics need to be in place for observation such as infrared or radio observations, but the region just behind the center of the Milky Way, where visibility is obscured, remains yet a complete mystery to astronomers. The Supernova Scientist Carl Sagan has said that we humans are made of star stuff. This may sound like a line of poetry, but what he has said has some truth in it. While we may not exactly be made of stars in their entirety, it turns out that elements discovered in the aftermath of the star, scientifically referred to as a supernova, contains just the same stuff found in human bodies, and indeed the world as a whole. Supernovae are explosions caused when a star larger than the Sun collapses. These explosions carry with them silver, nickel, copper, calcium and iron, amongst other elements found in our own bodies. They are extremely bright and powerful explosions due to producing massive amounts of energy from its core, which causes the star to become extremely hot. Eventually, the pressure from the core cannot withstand its own gravitational force, causing the star to collapse. Astronomers discovered a supernova explosion from a star larger than the Sun, the S9-2016 APS. It was discovered by scientists at the Center for Astrophysics. Although the SN-2016 APS supernova was first spotted in 2016, scientists have been studying it and finding more information about the star itself and the collapse of it. It is the brightest, most energetic and likely biggest supernova ever to be observed with an explosion strength 10 times the energy of most normal-sized supernovas. The research team was able to measure it using the total energy of the explosion and its radiation. They found that the SN2016 APS emitted five times the explosion energy of a typical supernova. They were also able to discover that its mass was 50 to 100 times more than the Sun's. Normal supernovae are typically around 15 times as large as the Sun. Its collapse happened 4 billion light-years away. Therefore, looking at it is much like looking back in time, as it takes all that time for evidence of these explosions to reach the Earth. Scientists suggest that the extraordinary brightness and energy levels may hint at something even more interesting, what is known as a pulsational pair instability supernova. This is when two massive stars merge before exploding, which may explain its unusual size, radiation and light emission. The theory is that two stars combined just before the explosion, causing a notable increase in hydrogen and a mass high enough to trigger the pair instability and therefore the explosion. A follow-up study of SN2016 APS revealed high levels of hydrogen gas. 
This is unusual because larger stars tend to lose their hydrogen to powerful stellar winds when becoming supernovae. It is only stars with lower masses that can hold on to their hydrogen because the explosions are not as formidable and therefore allow for more attention. This supernova is the first of many that scientists hope to discover and research, and it is believed that it has opened the pathways to greater discoveries. With their more powerful telescopes, they will be able to find more and more supernovae like this one. Discovering these supernovae are a form of looking back in time, back to the early history of the universe. Scientists hope to find even earlier and older supernovae, and they believe that they will. If there's anything we can take away from these discoveries, it's that the world is a surprising and fascinating place. Whether in a field in the middle of New York or the Siberian Arctic, or out in space, there's always something to find out and learn about. Evidence of the past can remind us that much has happened and therefore will happen, but that the universe and the Earth carry on. Whether an unexplained extinction or the collapse of thousands of stars, the universe has survived. The past shows us that a future is possible and we are living in it. Even if much is left to mystery, what we do find out and get to know is exciting and fascinating. And even if we don't always know everything now, someone, somewhere, will one day open the mystery safe of the universe and we'll be able to look back on the once ambiguous history with fresh eyes. GRB 190114C Gamma Ray Burst Gamma ray bursts are incredibly powerful astronomical events that were first noted by scientists around 46 years ago. Although mysterious and not fully understood, they are fairly common and can be observed randomly in space almost every day. The most common cause of a gamma ray burst is when an enormous star, exponentially larger than our own sun, runs out of fuel. The core collapses on itself, forming a black hole, which then projects particle rays from inside the blast through the outer remnants of the star. These initial particle rays react with the mass around it to form hugely powerful jets of gamma rays, which are the most highly energetic wavelength and move at almost 100% the speed of visible light. These initial bursts last for only a minute or two, followed by what scientists have termed the afterglow. This afterglow surrounds the site of the burst for several months following the event and is caused by the continued interaction of the ejected jets with surrounding space particles, which emit light on all frequencies across the wavelength spectrum, from radio waves to gamma rays. Such a collapse of matter resulting in long-lasting jets of incredibly powerful gamma waves is collectively known as a gamma ray burst phenomenon and is widely studied in the field of astronomy. Previously, because the initial bursts are so short-lived and occur randomly in space, Research regarding this phenomenon was limited to what astrologists could observe from the long-lasting afterglows, which are a representation of the burst event at lower energies. Because these events are the most powerful explosions in the universe, and understanding is limited to conclusions gathered from study of the phenomenon at its least energetic form, researchers have made numerous attempts to view and capture the initial gamma ray burst, not just the afterglow, for analysis. And on the afternoon of January 14th, 2019, they had a stroke of luck. NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope and Neil Gerl's Swift Observatory detected the gamma radiation from a pair of enormous bursts originating from the Fornax constellation and alerted the major atmospheric gamma imaging Cherenkov Observatory, which was able to automatically detect and record the burst of a mere 50 seconds after it began. The two gamma ray bursts, named GRB 190114C, emitted the highest energy rays ever witnessed in such an event, making the gamma rays projected from the site of the burst the highest energy wavelengths ever recorded. Researchers are still attempting to determine whether or not the unusually dense environment of the system, which occurred at the nuclear center of several interconnecting galaxies, was what might have been conducive to such a large burst. This documentation of a component of a gamma-ray burst that has not been able to be widely studied, especially when the event in question is the largest ever recorded, will help scientists to look at gamma-ray theory from an entirely new perspective. 
Further analysis of the recordings of the initial event compared with continued study of the afterglow will radicalize the way that scientists study gamma-ray theory.